Smart. Such a clever. Talents waste. Ballistic. Bitter, Pierre. Dejected. Samuel, the useless old man. Hungry for purpose. Couldn't be with this time. This is all Martin's fault. We hadn't helped Corvo get out of prison. Corvo hadn't been so damn good at his job. We hadn't gotten greedy and afraid. If. Always too sure that was my problem. Never hesitated. Too sure of what I wanted. Too sure of what I wanted to do when other men stopped to consider. Saw it as a weakness. I know Corvo's coming for me just like he came for the others. Crossing the island below like it was nothing. It's only a question of how and when. I'm lacking a counter move. It's all fallen apart. All the stuff that led us here made sense. When I was young, I went to sea. I took command of a ship and made aimless men into sea. Made a collection of boats into a navy. Then founded a conspiracy and almost led an empire. No compromise. Never showed mercy. Never showed weakness. And I showed the world what matter. Will and vision. And not being afraid of getting dirty. And now, I'll lose it all to a man with a faster sword hand. Or is it that he has a slower sword hand? There's something wrong with me. It'll make a good story for the history. I'll have a good epitaph. In his time, he commanded a noble lord, a high overseer, the man who brought down a type, Admiral Hammond, son of the High Ocean. Did you think I'd fight you, Corvo? Sorry to disappoint. This is yours, the key to Emily's cell. She'll be glad to see you. You made quite an impression on her. Did you know that? She asked about you constantly where you were, what you've been doing. I told her. In the end, I told her everything. From the start, when we had such noble goals in mind, to the end, when we were afraid, fighting in secrecy about who we could trust and who we had to kill, arguing over who would act as new Lord Regent. And she listened, eyes wide. She's become an interesting girl. If she lives, she'll make a memorable end. Kill me or take me to Coldridge Prison. Make your choice. She'll be watching. Guards! Who is that? Admiral Havelock? If you don't let me out, I'm going to make you stand in a corner until you learn how to behave. Corvo? Corvo! I knew you'd come. Is it going to be okay now? Will I be Empress? So ends the Interregnum. And now Emily Caldwin I will take her mother's throne after a season of turmoil. You will stand at her side, Corvo, guiding her young mind and protecting her from those who seek to exploit her or cause her harm. You watched and listened when other men would have shouted in rage. You held back instead of striking. So it is, with the passing of the plague and Emily's ascension, comes a golden age brought about by your hand. And decades hence, when your hair turns white and you pass from this world, Empress Emily, Emily the Wise, at the height of her power, will lay your body down within her mother's great tomb, because you are more to her than royal protector. Farewell, Corvo.